Echo. Gorilla Tag's second logged ghost to appear in the game after PBBV is a known mystery. Who is she? Who made her? And is she real? I will be going over everything related to Echo, but most importantly, explain who I am. Serious issues involving harassment, sexism, and stalking will be talked about in this video, so if that upsets you, please do not continue watching. Please go check out J-Man Curly's video first to hear an interview for a better understanding of it all. Now, let's get into it. All of the Gorilla Tag bots are claimed to be a myth, but just like PBBV, there have been thousands of people claiming to have seen sightings of Echo. These sightings include a list of things that I have nailed down to her final entity and how people see her. Echo is a cyan monkey with the blue sun hat. She has a static voice which can reach high volumes heard throughout any map. Her long arms give her incredible speeds. She is known to chase and kick toxic players or players with the name PBBV or Azel. She will chase you if you stare at her. She perceives that as a threat. She can be found in the codes ECHO or 555999 in canyons, and that she means no harm. <laughs> now that you know who she is, I know you are probably asking, how did I create her? Easy to answer, by mistake and complete fear. After being tracked by PBUV and Azel, and hearing about the first Reddit post, I knew I needed to do something. I still wanted to play Gorilla Tag without being tracked. And back then I didn't realise how tracking worked, so I figured that this simple trick would just do it. After purchasing the early access pack, I decided to change my colour code and cosmetics completely, even when I was with friends. It was Cyan with a blue sun hat. This failed horribly as they still managed to point me out from the crowd. Where did her scary traits come from you ask? Simple. The long arms are naturally my arms as I am 6 foot. At the time I had a rented Rift S headset and they are known for their microphones going to shit and sounding robotic. Canyons is my favourite map and I would always run with long strides. I would always chase players with my robotic microphone just for fun. Someone had obviously seen the reddit post and this in game and it was replicated over and over again. It never stopped, it was like a disease. I was then contacted through discord by both Azel and PBUV. This is where they had told and shown me the following things. Echo, 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 555999. Let us help you. My full name, my school, pictures of me, my socials, and a recent picture of me walking into a school dance venue. That same night, I was home alone. I recall shuffling a fabric outside my window. My dog was barking like crazy. After hearing nothing for an hour, I went outside to have a look. With protection, of course. Nothing. I know my ears weren't playing tricks on me, and I wasn't dreaming, so who was at my window? The reddit post was true, every last bit of it, and they didn't lie about what they were doing. They protected me by stalking me according to them. They followed me, and then I truly was isolated. I left Gorilla Tag for two months. I had to. I shouldn't have to at all. All because I was a female? All because of a VR game? This happens to more people than you think. The sexism. The stalking, the doxing, it is all real, and it is nothing to laugh about. After the break, I came back. I hadn't gotten a single message from PBBV or Azel for a month, and after testing some lobbies out, they were nowhere to be seen, and it all stopped. Or so I thought. I went into my regular Echo Code to play games with my friends, and it was full. After trying many, many, many times, I finally got in. I couldn't believe my eyes. It was like an infestation of ants, except it was all echoes. There were at least five of them running in canyons, playing music or screaming. Kids were scared, people were confused, I was confused. Many theories were made that Echo was PBBV's dead wife, or that she was a good bot made to take down PBBV. I know the real story, and so do you too, but some of the theories do add up, and in the end to some, these ghosts are characters. Before I come to a close, I want to go back to the codes Echo and 555-999. And it's full. Okay, um, what if I try code Echo Mist? Let's try it. Echo. 
Why are people in my old no. card? No. Oh, I, I, you spelled no, Echo wrong. That, that's the real no. one. Alright, Echo is apparently in here too, so we're gonna Echo. Alright, where's Daisy09 since he decides to be a little coward? This little bitch. He's gonna be fake as f. You're fake as f, bro. Look at you. Oh, there's an echo. Yo, you just I'm you I'll do, I'll, I'll do any, everything to help you stop PVVV and some tracking. Oh, thank you. That means so much. Well done. Good job. So, I only managed to get into one after 30 minutes. And my old Echo Miss code is nearly full too. Hearing people telling me that they are trying to help and stop it all is heartwarming. I am truly thankful. But these things can never truly go away. Especially online. I only waited this long to tell you guys because I needed to know for sure that I was safe. And I know I am now. I'm glad I was able to share to you all the truth and the experience I went through. Honestly, I see Echo as an equal symbol and my mark on the community, which I hope to grow over time into something beautiful. A massive thank you to J-Man Curly for helping me reveal it all to you guys. And a big thanks to you all too. If you are ever in a situation like this, please tell an adult or contact the authorities. You're putting yourself in danger and those around you. With this coming to a close, I hope you are all safe and I love you guys. Good night.